Oh. How often have you gone to the grocery store to buy eggs and were confused about which carton to grab? There's all natural, cage-free, free-range, farm-fresh, organic, no hormones, omega-3s. You get the point. The reality is most hens aren't living life on Old McDonald's farm. But some families in our area have farm fresh eggs available anytime, and they only have to go as far as their own backyard. Carolina Impact Sheila Saints caught up with some folks in Charlotte who explain what's fun and foul about keeping pet chickens. <laughs> Every morning, Joanne Shaver's boots hit the ground. And she's off to feed the chickens. With 12 chickens, you'd think Joanne lives on a farm in the country. Actually, she lives just south of Uptown Charlotte, a city dweller raising backyard chickens. This is a Buff Orpington. And then we have three barred rock, which are the black and white ones, Rhode Island Reds, three of those, um, and then three of the Americana. She says urban chickens provide fresh eggs and hands-on learning for her children. I think it really just, it gives them a sense of responsibility. They'll come down, they'll collect the eggs, um, and then take them back up to the house. It does teach them where their food comes from. And they get great pleasure out of, you know, asking for an egg in the morning, or, you know, kind of scrambled eggs, and, um, you know, they know where it came from, they know they help produce it. The Shavers built the coop using ideas and products from the internet. The chickens peck and roam and scratch, and each chicken has a unique name. The kids came up with all the names. There are a couple that jump out at me being a Carolina Panthers fan. So, of course, we have Boot Cluckley, and we also have Egg Olson, which uh, are uh, two of the most popular. Mecklenburg County requires that you get a permit for certain outdoor livestock, such as chickens, and they recommend that you contact them before you build that chicken coop. We knew we had to get a permit and you have to fill out, you know, it's, it's a really short form, a little bit of paperwork with how many, and then they send somebody out, and I think it was even within the week from animal control, just to check out where your coop is going to be. And we will have an officer come out and conduct an inspection of their property to make sure that they're in compliance to have one. Ah, scoot. In addition to that, the coop has to be 25 feet off of each property line. Now, on the form, you have to list all the abutting property owners uh, that are right there next to you. The officer will actually conduct an interview with all of them. And they collect that, you know, just in case there are any complaints. We spoke to all of our neighbors in advance, and, you know, as long as there's free eggs involved, nobody really has an issue with it. In 2017, Charlotte Mecklenburg approved 54 permits for chickens on pace with previous years. And if you're thinking about joining a flock of families with chickens, avoid winging it. Learn proper handling such as hand washing after touching the birds or eggs. The Centers for Disease Control has seen a national uptick in salmonella outbreaks linked to live poultry. The bacteria can linger where birds live and can be brought in the house on shoes or hands. It can cause serious illness in humans. Joanne takes precautions to keep her family safe. I don't want the children going in the coop with their shoes and they're walking back into the house. So boots first. And then we change their water every day and just rinse out their water bowl. Probably about once a month, we give the coop a really good cleaning and then we'll change out their nests. And I mean, really that's it. It's not difficult. You know, there is work involved and it's, it's dirty work, but you know, it's, it's worth it. Worth it to have farm fresh eggs right in the backyard. It has a lot more taste to it. <laughs> and that's no yolk. For Carolina Impact, I'm Sheila Saints reporting. Thanks so much, Sheila. According to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, salmonella infections are linked to live poultry. In 2016, there were 42 cases reported in North Carolina, and in 2017, 46 cases, all linked to backyard flocks. Remember, you've got to have a permit to raise chickens in most area counties.